It's Thursday, the 24th of August, and time for a very special Oroville update with unprecedented access to the Oroville construction site inside the spillway today. My name's Juan Brown, and you're watching the Blanco Lirio channel. So being down here on the construction site today really helped cleared up a lot of things that I was guessing about and a lot of the confusing issues, but like dental concrete versus leveling concrete versus the application of RCC and structural concrete was all cleared up today. So future updates should have a lot more accurate information. One of the milestones we want to look for in the next two weeks is that gray RCC in the lower spillway continue to rise and simultaneously the RCC in the upper plunge pool begin to rise such that those two aggregates come together at the same time in two weeks. So they should be able to rise out of the plunge pool high enough in two weeks to meet the slope of the spillway coming up from the lower plunge pool in just two weeks time. Well, let's go take a look at one of the single biggest monumental engineering projects going on in America right now today. Welcome to the final episode of the Orville Spillway Construction Tour. Today we're going to dive into the deep main upper plunge pool that is soon to be covered with over 150 feet of roller compacted concrete. We're going to start the tour by walking up the 12 foot wide huge RCC walls from the lower spillway up into the plunge pool. Remember, these RCC walls are just for this year's flood season and will be removed and replaced with structural concrete walls next year for the final design. shift change out here right now so it's kind of quiet on the RCC front and then they're gonna get the night shift in here blowing and going and keep on going up. Now down here in the lower plunge pool we'll have to recheck the old uh, pictures but it was about almost a hundred feet deep filled up with the RCC now. The upper plunge pool we'll take a look at up there, that's well over 100 feet deep, still yet to be filled. But you can see once this gets going, it gets going very quickly. Here's some before pics from back in February showing the two plunge pools. And Croyal Canyon, which is now a maze of access roads. This is the final finish of the RCC to grade. They're irrigating it right now just for curing purposes. This is no longer a, a live joint. It'll be a cold joint. So since this is now a cold joint, you, you can re-liven the cold joint from RCC by doing a green cut and pressure washing it back down to the aggregate and then they can put their 12 inch final lift of the hardened RCC which will provide the final floor for this RCC portion of the spillway. Another thing they got to do is constantly move the access roads up here so they're constantly chasing and rebuilding access roads as they continue up the spillway. So here's what a live joint of RCC is like. It's just a spongy mass and you can lay right on top of this and the two will bond. How it's like the old as dance as floor, as man. That started in dirt work. Now Jeff Peterson from Keywood Engineering is going to give us a back of the napkin sketch of the plan of how they're going to fill the main plunge pool and match it with the RCC in the lower portion of the spillway. Right across here, and this is where it stopped. So they just, so this is where the concrete is mm -hmm. down on the bottom. And so these were just coming up in one foot lifts. Yeah. And so right now, so now you got the wall built but we're we're right here so we this just tapers off on that floor to one so that's that's that finished grade okay until we get up to the next plunge pool. okay and these guys with these survey poles here the surveyors are checking the 
elevation of the lift and giving it a thumbs up by marking these little circles here with a uh, X if it's good or plus or minus if they've got to adjust that lift elevation. So they got the GPS working with the dozers on the blade of the dozers, but it's the surveyors here that make the final call. A ground-based GPS unit is added on the construction site to further increase the accuracy of the GPS for these 12-inch lifts. Similar technology to that used in aviation for GPS instrument approaches at airports. Next we get to walk down into the ginormous main plunge pool. Formed when water flew off the broken main spillway onto the rocks below. Soon this area where we're standing will be filled with over 100 feet of roller compacted concrete. So what would you call this right here? That's dental concrete. Dental concrete right here, all right. And they are placing dental concrete right now with that boom truck. Or they're getting ready to. Right, because it's thin enough to uh, do that, to pump it. About a week, week and a half, they're going to be standing on RCC right here. Week and a half? One week. Yeah, what was that milestone again, Jeff, for the next couple milestones you're looking for? We want to have the RCC up to this point to meet this RCC starting down here uh, within the next week. That'll open up this entire area for our single RCC high production spread so we fill what we call Scour Hole 2 all the way to the top of that hill. And when do you think you'll get to the top of that hill with RCC? Last week in October. All right. A very formidable task to say the least. And here's some DWR footage posted on 29 August showing where they met that objective of getting the RCC in the plunge pool to just reach the RCC in the lower portion of the spillway within one week. So that's just uh, road building work there, right? That's yeah, correct. access. I can raise the RCC bridge. Yeah, you got to keep chasing it. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Those hardworking gentlemen over there in the rock are doing the final cleanup, getting ready for more dental concrete and RCC final placement. Yep. Hot, hard, ankle twisting, back breaking work. Just, yeah, built from the bottom to the top. So, I mean, we'll be past here in a week and a half level, and then it's just 260,000. Now she's got two steps on the feet. So Jeff, down here we're looking at uh, the dark grays RCC already. That's the first, the beginning of the RCC here in the yes. upper plunge pool. Yeah, the pump truck is sitting on RCC. Uh -huh. That provided him enough access so he could reach in a little further and get more dental concrete in the very bottom of the ravine. And then RCC can continue on top of that dental concrete. Got it. So will we end up with kind of a cold joint at some point when this RC gets to a point, or is you gonna are you gonna try and match the two? Match. Wow, that's an incredible <laughs> game of uh, well, not chance, but uh, coordination. Coordination. It's yeah, yeah. It's a, lot of, like, a lot of engineering. A lot of thought went into all these holes here. Yeah. A little bit of luck. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. So in other words, this RCC piling up from down below needs to match this RCC here in the main plunge pool right about here at about the same time become one single project and then continue to work all the way up to the upper spillway. Wow! 
260,000 yards is the calculation of the amount of RCC to fill this upper plunge pool hole. Next, Jeff will explain this cutoff wall and an aeration feature to be placed here at the end of the structural portion of the upper spillway and where the RCC begins. Can you go over the description of the uh, end here of the structural concrete and that aeration system? In sure, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a try. The, uh, the thick finished concrete comes off of that edge where you see the stay form and it uh, bends it like a 90 degree and then locks into the rock so it's solid concrete down. So that's effectively your cutoff wall. Yep, and then the RCC will fill up and build up into that. And then on the very outside edges in the RCC wall, there's a five foot by three foot box culverts that are vertical that allow air to enter into the water as it comes off of that concrete chute. So a two foot drop onto the RCC and that RCC will be hardened. Yep, yeah, and it's in the vertical curve so it's a very gentle very gentle drop. It's okay. really just a flow. Good. And again, this whole design of RCC is for 100,000 CFS max. Um, well, they they're telling me that the the temp for the for the mid-season work or for this first winter, the interim winter, they're designing it with the wall height. They expect to not go over 100,000 CFS. That's what it's designed for. Right. I think the final design I read. When it's all done, it'll be 275,000. Right, with all the structural yeah. concrete. Yeah, places. but with the RCC surface, there, there, it's a design that they so could handle 100,000 CFS if they had to, but they don't expect to. And the limiting factor to that design, the 100,000 CFS, you're saying is the wall height, not necessarily the hardness of the RCC spillway? Correct. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. The top of these RCC walls, 12 and a half feet wide all to be just temporary in nature for this year, next year replaced entirely with structural concrete walls. Next I get Jeff to further clarify the difference between leveling concrete versus roller compacted concrete and their function underneath structural concrete. Where you have leveling or RCC, it's just in the very bottom or the deepest crevices in the rock. Mm -hmm. Leveling concrete is a foundation for the structural concrete. So just a little bit of leveling concrete remaining in the lower chute. And that leveling concrete can be RCC? No. Um, leveling concrete is leveling, leveling concrete. concrete. Okay. Not to be confused with right. RCC. RCC uh, will go either on directly on the rock with the slush grout bonding mm -hmm. agent, or it will go on the dentaling concrete if, it's, uh, if the crevices are too deep for the, let the RCC operation to get inside the small cracks. And then that RCC is brought up to a point at which point you can get the leveling concrete in there to finish it off. Yeah, we don't need before. leveling on top of RCC. It's right. an option. It's, it's just going to be uh, so RCC. Structural concrete will go on top of RCC right. after the drains are put in. Structural concrete will go on top of R leveling. RCC. Oh. Or leveling. Or leveling. It could be either or. Oh, okay. Right now the plan is RCC goes up to the subgrade, then yeah. structural concrete will go on top okay. after the drains are cut into. Mm -hmm. My confusion at this point stems from not clearly understanding the different use of different concretes in different sections of the spillway depending on the demands or the design for this year. Any section of spillway that's getting a final finish of structural concrete will have leveling concrete underneath the structural concrete and of course dental concrete coming up out of the rocks. The section of spillway that is going to be RCC is going to be RCC on top of dental concrete, then that RCC will be cut out next year and structural concrete placed right on top of the RCC and rock bolted. Well, thanks so much for joining me on this unprecedented access tour of the construction going on at Oroville today. I'll continue to answer your questions in the comment section below if I know the answer. Otherwise, we're going to continue to get more and more information in future updates. We've had a great time crawling all around the Oroville spillway today. And I want to give a special thanks to the folks that reached out and let us in to the construction site. Why don't you come on over here for a second and say hi. Matt Murray, DWR engineer, water engineer, right? Water resources engineer. Water resources engineer. He answered a lot of technical questions. We were able to get Jeff Peterson out here. It was just a few moments of his precious time. He answered a lot of questions. 
Uh, Tom, what's Tom's last name? Cava Rubia. Cava? Cava Rubia. Cava Rubia. Try that. He answered a lot of great questions. And uh, from the PA office, we also had Matt Notley. Notley. Matt Notley. All came together to help us help you get the story of what's going on out here at Oroville. So thanks so much for your continued sub support and subscription to this station. We're going to stay on this on this project. We've got, well, all the way till November to finish this up, but then there's going to be a whole nother year's worth of work after this year. See you here. Here's the very latest DWR drone flyover footage posted on the 2nd of September 